What's going on guys? So Vet TV made a movie called The Grunt's Life and I think it's necessary for me to give my opinion, to exercise my freedom of speech, my 1A, to what I thought about A Grunt's Life being the MP that I was in the US Army. So Vet TV is an app with about 40,000 subscribers. Give me a second. One second, please. 40,000 subscribers. How much is it a month? What, five? Five, seven bucks? Five, five? We're gonna go with five. Five bucks. Oh, y'all got money. Y'all got money. Hold on. I'm gonna need to raise my motherfucking prices on this. I'm gonna need what? And I'm doing this for how much? Donnie. Donnie, we're gonna talk after this. We're gonna talk after this review, Donnie. So the film starts off with Donnie's character, Murphy, in a porta john rubbing one out while the compound was getting attacked. First off, I wanna say this is a very, very real situation. Me, personally, I had uh, a very limited edition magazine, Vita Guerra, in uh, Tiger Stripes. I don't know if you guys remember this back in 2006. Uh, or I had like the little portable DVD player that popped up and stuff like that. I used to put that in my cargo pocket. I made sure it fit and then I used to go to the port Now let me tell you something. You can die in a port 140 degrees, you're in there sweating bullets, but you're in there just rubbing one out. So there's a scene in the film where Murphy imagines killing his, uh, his chain of command in a very brutal way. Son, this is a very real thing. No shit, true story. One time in Baghdad, I was getting my truck ready uh, to go on a mission. The rest of my team, they went to go get breakfast. I'm under the impression that they were gonna bring me some breakfast because I haven't had anything to eat. No, they ain't bring nothing to me. So I started yelling at them. Yeah, that's right. Private Hernandez started yelling at my team leader. They were just laughing about it. <laughs> Sorry, we forgot. So you know what I did? I lied. I said, you know what? The AC broken in the truck. Mind you, middle of July. This is no exaggeration. We could have died of heat exhaustion. I didn't care. I was willing to go down over a blueberry muffins. The Iraqis were ready to die for 72 virgins. I was ready to kill me and my team for a blueberry muffin. Pathetic. There's a scene in, uh, in A Grunt's Life where Murphy, uh, is about to go, and his team, they're about to go inside of this mud and they're about to like interrogate. Where's the weapons? Where is it? And uh, this girl comes out in her, what is it? The hijab or the burqa? I forgot what it's called. And she pulls it up, right? She's like adjusting something. She's like pulling up and she's showing legs and you're just like, ah. <sighs> That's a great leg. That is a great leg, my friends. And in Murphy's head, you know, in Murphy's head, after he sees that he's there, he's up close with her, in his head, he's just imagining just having raw pounding sex with this girl. <laughs> yo, yo, don't shit you story again. I was in my truck outside of an IP station pulling guard. In front of my truck was a uh, mud hut. This little girl comes running out the mud hut chasing after a ball. The big sister comes running after her. I guess, you know, don't leave the front yard type shit, right? She comes out. Guys, get close. She comes out in pink booty shorts and a white tank top. And let me just say, her body. <sighs> wow. I was like, God damn. They got that out here? They got that in Iraq? I step out of my truck and I'm just like, How you doing? It's a cute kid. No? No? Alright. I'll be here for the next 18 hours. Hearts and minds and shit. Alright? Yeah. Oh, and JT was in the film. That's right, for those of you Article 15 fans, JT was in the film. Uh, he was a part of this, uh, this spec op kind of group, kind of guys and stuff. You know, one of them was like, demolition, ha huh, ha. Huh. The other one was like, ha, huh, first one to die, ha ha ha. A lot of joking around and shit. You know damn well JT had to go two sizes up to fit in that top. There was also another moment where, uh... Ah, this is a Jack Marillo moment where, uh, they, uh... What is it? They're... <laughs> with the fucking rifles! It's like they're trying to release stress. And this dude's, like, stroking the barrel of the rifle to release stress. They has his butt... <laughs> that was a great moment! I was like, you know, it's one of those moments where it's just like, that. that's such a creative moment. I'm mad I didn't come up with that first. 
That's how creative that moment was. It was very special, it was fucking dope. That moment was dope. The film definitely walks that line between uh, exaggeration and, 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 and reality, pretty much. And, and I'd, I'd be the first to admit that a majority of the scenes in there, of the situations in this film, guilty. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he, this motherfucker, Donnie, uh, Murphy, Donnie, a.k.a. Murphy, is collecting ears as his uh, war trophies. He has, like, limbs and shit. He, I've never seen some shit like that. It's one of those things where it's, like, a little exaggerated. Maybe people do do that shit, so, uh, <laughs> fucking ears. I had it. Yo, that's fucking sick. Again, there's a lot of moments in here that were fucking great that you can connect with on a deep level. I mean, I'm, I'm saying like there are some moments where it's like a little exaggerated, like, all right, hold on. But I think that's the best part about it, because you, you kind of you kind of see it and you go, I mean, I didn't go that far, but I went that close. I was that close to like doing some shit. So it's the stories of war. That's all this is. So to the guys at Bet TV, you guys uh, did amazing. Uh, kudos to you guys. Thumbs up on my side. Definitely go watch it. Check it out in my description here. There's a link somewhere here. Check it out. Go cop it. Watch the movie. Enjoy it. Judge for yourself. It's pretty much the uh, the motto here. Uh, besides that, Donnie, B, give me my own show, son. What the fuck, B? I've been waiting for. Let me write, direct produce my own show on here. You know, the 40,000 subscribers be, and you ain't give me my own show yet? Yo, you got a problem? You got a problem with me, son? What's good? What's good, B? What's good? Uh, YouTube's all about boxing. I'll box. What's good, Donnie? Come on, give me my show, Donnie. Hey, Donnie, Donnie, give me my show, all right? All right, people want, people want me to have 40,000 subscribers? Did you do the math on this, Donnie? Give me my show. Donnie, get, do it. Give me my show, Donnie. Do it. Ah, uh, thanks. What's that? The Taliban said we are bringing the big guys for this attack. That's pretty fresh. So let's get it! Ahmed, man. Oh, come, come, let's just get it. Right on, man. He's the best, man. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Too bad I'm probably gonna have to kill him. Yeah, it's whatever. Our last crew tournament, and the sides of the river were just packed with chicks, all eyes on me or whatever. But there was this one. Okay, you want to tell me what the fuck happened here? After you left, our old friend here, he, uh, he tried to stab me in the fucking back. Jones plugged him a couple times. It's kind of funny, actually. First team, you're up. First team copies. Let's go, putos. CO and first sergeant just caught me jerking off with a flashlight in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Did you finish? You know me better than that. We are hanging from the shirt. I do fine. Have we ceased life, sir? Hit. No, oh, thank goodness. I can't stand these dreadful people. <laughs> what do we do when we get to the tree line? Shut the fuck up, Carl. That's when we stop moving north, Reynolds. I'm just... <laughs> 39 controls in your last 13 ops with 35 KIA. I can't tell you how hard that gets my dick. You're a fucking monster, bro. It's actually 43. That's just what they cut on the ISR feed. Now I want everyone to grab another man's barrel. What do you think they're saying? Talking about how cool Muhammad is. Planning to kill us. You got plenty to be proud of over there. That's a nice looking cock. But yeah, every time we patrol by his compound, we should fucking smoke him while we're there. Hey, I'm just getting six. We're not gonna smoke him. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, we're gonna have a meeting tonight, so there'll be plenty of guys to kill. Hell yeah. Who's hard? <laughs> Mine's a little chubby. <laughs>